everybody, welcome to Ask Ron. I did a video for Ask Ron last week called How Should I Adjust My Training As I Age? Got some decent reception on that. And a follow-up video was suggested to me by a moderator on the musculardevelopment.com forums. Uh, goes by the name, uh, a Gaelic version of his name, uh, Dibi Ibudan. I can't even pronounce it. He used to post under Bowden, Bowden B-O-W, D-E-N, which I can pronounce, and thank you for the idea. It's a great idea because um, you may not have to adjust your training much as you age because you might not have incurred any injuries. You might be one of those lucky people. And I did get comments on the video uh, from people saying, you know, I'm 50 or I'm 60 and I still squat heavy. I still bench press heavy. You might have taken good enough care of your joints and been lucky enough so that you can still do uh, very heavy training and still do all the exercises you did as a younger man. However, you will uh, almost assuredly have to adjust your nutrition as you age because even though there are some anomalies, I'm sure someone's going to post in the comments section and say, you know, I'm 55 and I eat a large pizza every day and a dozen donuts and I'm shredded. Well, let me, if that's the case, I'm going to stop you right now because you are one in a million. You're a rarity. You're one of the exceptions to the rules. And every, every time there's an exception to the rule, they love to put it in the comments section and let you know that Whatever I'm talking about doesn't apply to them or somebody of theirs. There's always exceptions to every rule. But generally speaking, as we age as human beings, uh, our metabolic rate does slow down. Um, any of you who are even in your 30s now will notice that you don't stay lean as easily. You used to be able to eat a lot more junk food, uh, drink a lot more alcohol, do a lot of things wrong nutritionally, and you're still fairly lean as you get older. It's, it's not, it catches up to you. It's that your metabolism does slow down. Uh, people who compete definitely notice this because you go through contest prep. And people who have competed and gone through preps uh, over the years, from some of us, from the time we were teenagers into the 40s and 50s, uh, and taking drugs out of the equation. I know drugs are used to burn fat, and there's all kinds of different drugs used for that. But still, generally speaking, you have to diet longer, eat stricter, uh, you have to make adjustments because getting lean as you get older, you'll find, is not as easy as it was when you were younger. It's just a fact. Our metabolisms, which means how many calories our bodies burn at rest, our metabolisms will slow down for the most part. I know, exceptions to the rule. But most people, most people will definitely experience this. And if you're watching this, you're probably one of them. So what adjustments are you going to have to make? First of all, you're probably going to have to eat cleaner. You can't get away with eating as much junk food, fast food, the things that you might have enjoyed and gotten away with when you were younger and you were still able to stay lean. You didn't put on the fat. Now you find if you do have that uh, fast food meal a few times a week, if you do have that those late night cookies or ice cream, it goes right to your, especially if you're a guy, it's going to go right to your gut, right to your muffin top, around your lower back, the side. That's where we as men tend to accumulate most of our fat, whereas for women it's going to be their butt, their hips and thighs and their butt, their, their lower body. That's why they become pear-shaped. Uh, for men, it's usually we get the gut, we get the spare tire, we get the muffin top. Uh, it, it's generally centered there for us, the, the extra fat. So you're going to have to eat cleaner. You can't indulge. You can't have as many cheat days, cheat meals, treats. You can, but you'll pay for it. You'll gain fat. You'll, you'll be fatter than you would like to be, most likely. So... In, in regards to that, also, it's your carbohydrate in, intake, you'll find, is most likely going to come down. It's going to have to come down. Your body doesn't need as many carbs as it used to. It doesn't burn as many carbohydrates. And again, I know someone's going to say, I'm 50 and I eat 10,000 calories of carbs. Okay, that's great. That's you. <clears throat> most people, uh, I definitely found I had to reduce my carbohydrate intake slightly as I got older and older. Because I found that the same amount of carbs that used to be okay and fuel my workouts and recovery and all that, uh, it would just start leading to body fat accumulation on me. And I didn't like that. So I cut back my carbs. You'll probably find that the best course of action is for you to have most of your carbs around your workouts. The pre-workout meal, maybe right with your shake after you train, and then your next meal, your post-workout meal. That should probably be... 80% of your carb intake for the entire day on weight training days. It should be around your workout, peri-workout, because that's going to be used during the workout, and then it's going to be 
it's going to replace the glycogen that was burned during the workout. If you continue to have carbs with every meal, like you might have done when you were 20, 25 years old, you'll find yourself gaining body fat. You probably don't need, you know, 500, 600 grams of carbs a day like you did when you were 20, 25 years old. Now you probably would be better off with two or 300 grams a day. And, you know, how many carbs you need, it's an individual thing and you have to keep track of it. But basically, if you're eating clean and you're fatter than you would like to be, most likely you need to cut back on your carbs. You have to find a, a point in your carb intake where you're still able to gain size and strength, but you're not gaining body fat. And it's going to be a little different for everybody. So maybe you might have to go down to 150 grams of carbs a day, while other people might be able to handle carbs better. And I know it has a lot to do with how, how uh, intensely and the volume of your training, things like this too. But some people will be able to eat more carbs and they'll use those carbs for you know the, what they're meant to be used for, which is the, the workout, basically filling up the mus muscles with glycogen and then replacing that glycogen. But you don't need a ton of carbs. Generally speaking, if you're in your 40s and 50s, you probably should be eating something like half the amount of carbs you were when you were 20, 25 years old. Um, less calories, same thing. Even if you're eating clean, you probably will find that you can't eat you can't eat as many calories as you used to without getting fat. Again, it's your metabolic rate slowing down. Another thing to consider is, you know, at what point do you decide maybe I don't want to get any bigger, or maybe it's it's uh, I'm at a point where I'm not going to get any bigger, so it's kind of fruitless. It doesn't make sense for me to keep eating, eating, eating. 5,000, 6,000 calories a day because if you've been training 20, 30 plus years, uh, and let's say you've been on drugs for at least the last 10 of those years, maybe more, maybe 20 or over, odds are you've got all the muscle you're ever going to have or very, very close to it. You know, if you're at a competitive body weight of 200 pounds and you're a 45, 50 year old man and you've been training and using drugs for many years, you're probably never going to be 250 on stage, no matter what. So think about think about why you're eating as much as you're eating, and should you be eating as much as you're eating. And you know, it's a discussion for another time as far as maybe downsizing as you get older. Sometimes that happens to us because of injury. It's not by choice. You just can't train as heavy, and you can't hold as much muscle mass as you used to because you can't do all those basic compound movements that were responsible for putting all that muscle and keeping all that muscle on your body. Uh, I've, I've experienced some of that. I still train very hard, but I'm finding, particularly with my upper body, it, it's getting harder and harder just to maintain what I have without being able to do certain heavy compound movements that I used to do. Uh, another topic for another day. You definitely want to be eating less red meat as you get older. Uh, this is mainly for health reasons, because as you get older, you're going to be more conscious. You should be more conscious of your health, your longevity, of your mortality. By the time you're about 50 years old, I'll, I'll be 50 this year, if you haven't had any health scares, you know plenty of people your age who have. You've probably lost friends. People you know have died from heart attack, from cancer, but especially from heart attacks. Heart attacks kill a lot of bodybuilders in their 40s and 50s. Uh, you can get all the, all the tests and everything done, like I've had the calcium score and the stress test. And you should be on medications and so forth, but you still want to be doing everything you can um, as far as your diet to keep your heart healthy. Uh, red meat, it's, it's not a good idea to be eating a lot of red meat as an older guy. It's just not. It's, your body doesn't process it very well. It's got a lot of fat. Even the leaner cuts have a lot more fat than something like, you know, egg whites or chicken breast or white fish. So maybe cut back from eating it every day or a couple times a day as you did when you were younger cut it back to two three four times a week you know you can argue that point this you know I'm not a I'm not a nutritionist I don't claim to be one I'm not a nutrition expert but I do know a little bit and I know that red meat is something for your heart health for your arteries you don't want to be eating a ton of red meat as you get older and think again why do you need it you're getting protein from all these other things. You're taking creatine in the supplement. Uh, you're taking B vitamins. You're taking, you can take iron in uh, mineral supplements. Everything you're getting from red meat, you can get from supplements. So I'm not saying you have to stop eating red meat, although a lot of people do choose to as they get older for health reasons. But you certainly do want to cut back on the red meat. You want to eat more of good things. You want to eat more fiber. 
Fiber is going to keep you regular. Uh, it helps with your arteries. It's been proven in many studies, research studies, to you know improve your improve your chances of living longer, longer, healthier life, uh, especially related to the the cardiovascular system. So fiber in the form of things like oats, raw vegetables, uh, fiber supplement. If you don't want to if you don't want to eat all those things, you know look into ways. Try to find out ways to get more fiber in your diet because it's, it's only going to help you. And it's something that, like I said, health health is going to become more and more of a concern for you as you get older. Not just looking good. You actually want to be healthy uh, because it's it's no good to be a have this Adonis-like body at 40, 50 years old and then drop dead. And I've known personally, I've known at least a dozen guys now uh, my age or even younger that are gone. They're dead. Heart attacks. It was all heart attacks. They all, and they were, yeah, they were all steroid users, but they died much too young. It was, it was from heart attacks. Another thing is more healthy fats. You know, saturated fat's a bad thing, but there are unsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats. There are healthy fats that you want in your diet. These are things you'll get from eating salmon, from raw nuts, from nut butters like almond butter, uh, peanut butter, not so much. Natural peanut butter is okay, but almond butter, um, guacamole, avocado, these things, which everybody loves, right? So get healthy fats in your diet. Olive oil, good things to get it from. Um, and that, that's, that's it. Fruits and vegetables, which you may not have taken the time or considered, well, I'm too busy eating, you know, my 12 ounces of chicken and my giant baked potato or my big bucket bowl of rice. I don't have time or I'm not, you know, by the time you get to the end of that meal, you probably don't want any vegetables or fruit, but uh, as you get older, you want to incorporate fresh fruits and vegetables into your diet as, as much as you can. I'm not going to tell you how many servings a day. You know the FDA will say this many and that many. I would say have a, have a piece of fruit a couple times a day. Have vegetables with your meals, vegetables with fiber in them. So not soft vegetables, but like crunchy vegetables with the cellulose in them that we can't digest that pushes everything through. And that's going to help prevent against things like colon cancer, which is horrible, horrible way to go. If you've ever known anyone that suffered from colon cancer or passed away, it's it's a terrible way to die. It's, it's a terrible uh, form of cancer to have. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. So, you know, fiber is very, very critical in reducing your chances for that. Obviously, there are other factors, but anything you can do uh, with lifestyle factors to make yourself healthier is, is what you should be doing. And nutrition plays a big role in that. You want to be eating healthier. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you never eat red meat or Cut your protein way back, although cutting your protein way back probably is a good idea. But I understand we're bodybuilders; we want to have a certain look, and it does require a certain amount of food, a certain amount of protein, to maintain a certain amount of muscle mass. And that's an individual choice: is how what you're comfortable looking looking like. And you know, as we get older, I'm sure as I get older, I'm going to get to a point where I'll say, okay, uh, I was. 220 to 230 for many, many years, for decades. Uh, wasn't as big as I wanted to get or thought I could get, but you know what? It was pretty big. Been there, done that. Now I'm in my 50s or whatever, whenever I make this make this choice. And that's going to be the time to cut back on the calories and downsize a little bit, do more cardio, a little bit less weight training. Just try to be healthier, lighter, leaner. But in the meantime, even for those of you who are still trying to get bigger, stronger, which is fine, noble pursuit, God bless you. Uh, that's what gets you going. That's what keeps you keeps you getting to the gym every day and training hard, doing your cardio, eating clean. Make these adjustments. You know, try to eat better. Try to be much more conscious of everything you put in your body. Uh, you know, look into those all those different supplements for health purposes. I won't get into them. That's a whole other video that I'm not even really qualified. But there are a lot of antioxidants and other things that you should be taking if you want to maximize your health. But in the meantime, these are some easy adjustments that you can make as an older trainer. And if you're a younger guy watching this, you know, these are just things to keep in mind for the future because, you know, you will be older someday. The only other option is you die young. You don't want to do that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Appreciate it. Keep the questions coming. And I'll talk to you next time.